Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. I hope you're all well. Um, today I'm going to share with you my swap, my creation for um, a swap on junk journal junkies hosted by Ali Commons and it's for a altered Altoid mint tin with a little tiny journal inside and that had to be an autumn fall thing. So this is what I come up with. I wanted something quite rustic um, and I wanted this to be like a walk in the woods. I live just down the road from the woods so that's where I got my inspiration for this. Um, you can feel underneath here the Altoid um, X bossing, embossing, whatever you want to call it. And so I added a little bit more so that it would feel like you were walking on stones and bits and pieces as you were walking in the woods and this has got a fabric um, top to it a beautiful little piece of fabric with two deers and around the edge I have put this pom-pom trim so it goes all the way around like that and this here that goes all the way around the lid and the bottom part here is like a jute type of string trim that I found in the range on the bottom of the tin I've got this lovely textured um, piece of card that was gifted to me by Andrea and Janet. They gave me a bag of goodies so thank you so much ladies. I really appreciated that. And also part of the swap was the tin had to stay shut. So there we go. So we'll open it. And inside I've used this lovely fabric, it's a brushed cotton, autumn themed, and there's this gold trim that I stuck here. Um, I was going to layer up and put some other bits and pieces in, but I just really didn't want to ruin it because it's so pretty. Um, what I will say is that whoever gets my swap, um, as well as the fact that I've... Um, got quite a few tags and things that are going with this that didn't fit in I've also got this little brooch which is like a maple leaf brooch that I found in one of the um, charity shops when I was out rummaging last week and I was going to attach that inside the tin but I'm going to wrap it up as a little present anyway so that will go with this tin whoever gets the tin will have this lovely little brooch so I wanted to share that so anyway let's take the journal out and in the bottom here as well I've used the same brushed cotton um, autumn fabric so that's the tin and here's the little journal the closure is a piece of organza dark red ribbon and on the cover, we've got Mr. Owl, um, which I used from Artie Mays' kits for one of my previous journals, Enchanted, which is from her kit, Enchanted Caroline. Um, I found him in my stash, and I thought he fit perfectly on this. And I've layered, um, well, pardon me, I must say, the fabric, again, the whole cover was done with the same fabric that I've just used for inside the tin because it's so beautiful. And on top of that, I've layered some cheesecloth and a bit of um, eyelash trim and this little embellishment here, like a little applique. And he's backed on some red card. He and the title have been Mod Podged. And Wild Autumn, I've cut these out of my Edith Holden um, countryside notes of an Edwardian lady. And we've got this pom-pom trim along here as well. There's my sewing in for my signature. So inside, um, the back of the book has been um, covered with some very thick handmade paper, which was also very rustic. And the first little tag is of these birds. And this is a Tim Holtz um, piece of paper from the Wallflower kit and it's got some pom-poms on top and I fussy cut some apples out as well and stuck them down and that's been backed in coffee paper. Here we have another tag 
um, which I fussy cut the leaves out. This is a piece of um, graphic 45 paper that I used and that's been stapled on with a tiny attacher staple and down here we've got little Mr Robin sitting in his nest keeping warm um, those um, pockets were made of a glassine bag so we've got some lovely card here with lots of colours and embossing and shine on it and up here we have a little tag with a metal charm that are of two acorns and over here we've got a red satin leaf I've um, put some stenciling on most of the pages but only very faintly and some stamping and the stamping of, are of either animals or leaves and there's a little fussy cut mushroom that I cut out here we have a flip up flip down and here this leaf was also fussy cut out of some fabric so flip up it down and this is actually some stenciling I did using some of my inks and um, it was actually a leaf stencil not that you can really tell because it's so small <laughs> and this is a little journaling card with an owl on it and I've sewn around it there's quite a bit of sewing in this book the cover was all sewn around as well so I've got some brown trim down the side here with some gold thread on top this is, um, I don't know what these seeds are, I see them in the hedges all the time in Cornwall but it was on a serviette paper napkin that had blackberries on as well so I uh, mod podged that on there, so decoupaged that on I've got some layered leaves stamping going on here and there's a fussy cut acorn just down there and we've got some more stamping and this is a little tuck spot leaf which is the same shape as the um, brooch that I'm giving away to my partner and on the other side here we've got this little hedgehog he's from the same fabric as the deers are from the tin cover and that is also a tuck spot and that tucks in right all the way down through Here we have some butterflies um, that I like to put in my journals and these have been done with some orange and some of that um, graphic 45 paper. Some more stenciling and here's a little rabbit stamp. Some more autonomous papers. I wanted to keep as much writing room as possible because as you can appreciate how small these journals are. Um, here's a little bar now that I fussy cut out after stamping it on some paper and there's some leads this here is a little paper bag that I've sewn on and stuck some gold leaf trim and one of the red satin leaves in and inside we've got a little envelope which is made from some handmade paper which has actually got leads sort of set into it and there's a little leaf that I fussy cut out there to help keep it closed and inside is um, a little journaling um, piece of paper with the leaves on fingers and thumbs put that there a second that's the other side of the bag and this is a leaf that I fussy cut out of the same fabric that I use for the tin and here is a little red fox some stenciling and some red trim down here with some gold um, attaching it to the edge here we have a little squirrel that's been stamped and this here is actually some glassine paper um, that I had in a paper pack that I found in Lidl's which was quite handy so I put some angel hair on the back and I've used this rustic um, trim that I had on the tin to make a belly band and this is a ticket with some leaves that have been fussy cutted out and they've been layered there this is the centre of the signature we've got this leaf paper again and these little corner bits if I can get my hand out of the way my nails have all broken off so I'm struggling at the moment there we go 
We flip up and flip down, both of those do. And in the centre here, we have a little metal leaf that's coming off the strings that have been tied into a bow. There's a piece of paper there, which I'll take off in a moment. And here we have some little miniature tags. Um, they've got butterflies on and on the back a little bit of paper to write a phone number on or something. And then there's this one that's on a piece of fabric with gold leaves and a little fussy cut mushroom. And here we have a tea bag. Um, it wasn't a used tea bag, but I've distressed it. And I've got the same trim that I've just shown you on that tin going around and across here where I've created the pocket. And it's got some little red gems on it. And inside that is a tiny weenie envelope um, that I've made. And we're going to have problems now with no nails. <laughs> And inside is, um, again, just a piece of paper that's been folded up with some leaves on as a journaling spot. And at the top here, we've got some Tim Holtz wallflower, again, with the butterflies and some of this trim. Here, I fussy cut out this little tree because it was so pretty and put this gold trim down here. This was actually glued with a little um, goldy brown bunny stamped on. And there we have a goldy brown box. And again on the back here, some of the brown trim with some of the gold sewing. Here's the other half of that bag. There's the leaves from the fabric. And inside this side, we've got a little journaling card with a tree on it. Ooh, chuck it away. And that side, I've done the opposite. I've got red leaves going up through and one gold leaf. This was quite a funny little find. These are actually fabric owls um, that was on a tiny scrap of fabric that I was given. And what I did was, these two here are staring at this little owl. So I put a leaf on her head so I thought they're looking at her to say, what on earth have you got on your head? And that's got a paper clip keeping it in, which has now got tangled up with the fibres. And that's just a journaling card. It's funny, isn't it? Everything always seems to go wrong when you try and show these things off. On the next page, I've got some stenciling. There's a little bunny here. And these are some of the apples that I've cut out from a bit of paper. On this side, I've sewn around this page and put on a, a well, standard piece of paper that's been distressed. And we have a fox having a chat with a bunny. Here we have green paper again. And around here, I found this like um, goldy, orangey, um, like a yarn so I sewed all that on as best I could and just let the fibres do their own thing really and this here is another leaf tuck spot here I've got a tip in um, this is where I cut the leaves off and put throughout the journal on the fabric like this now I was watching um, oh, I can't remember the lady's name but she says that it's a young lady called Nazi that we're to thank for this flip up, flip down fabric thing. So, hi Nazi. And on the bottom here I've attached a little tiny red safety pin that was gifted to me by Andrea and Janet. And one of the little leaves I fussy cut out from that fabric and attached it there. And when you roll it back, there's a bar now hiding under there. It was Tracy Fox, that's who I was watching. Hi Tracy. Here we've got some more of this like ribbon trim with like a reddy orange and gold little squirrel. And on this side, this pocket here is actually quite thick because what I did was I grabbed all of the fabrics I've got 
that are quite autonomous and I made a scrambled collage if I take this out and made a pocket out of it and then sewed it on with some gold thread and put a little bit of this lace at the bottom so it's quite thick and then the tag is one of the tree that you've already seen and I found this trim so I've sewn all that around with the gold and the pinks and the purples and all and it's got a little tiny weeny tag that was gifted to me by Ali Commons thank you Ali hi um, to hang off the top there and on the back that's added I've added some journaling space on this side we've got a little tab up here and hanging off that if you can see is a little metal pine cone can you see that and here we have a little bunny looking up at the leaf and the barn out the top and this here is another glassine bag pocket and at the top here we've got this journaling card with the owl some trim sewn around it and it's back with coffee and this is another little piece of paper that came out of the bag of goodies from Janet and Andrea so I made it into an envelope and inside the envelope I don't know if this opens no it's a little journaling card that I've just layered with some orange fluffy stuff and little fabric leaf that I fussy cut out and of course I had to add one of my butterflies and here we have a little midget tiny weeny mason jar with one of the leaves and spot on the back to journal on as well and there's a leaf there and the back page I've left this because again it's all glittery and yummy and this was the only